How's it going everyone? This is Eric from allthingsfloor.com here again with another video about bamboo floors. In today's video, we're going to be talking about another area in your home where you might be considering installing bamboo floors. We've made a video about bamboo floors in your basements. We've also made a video about bamboo floors in your bathrooms. Now we're talking about bamboo floors and whether or not we think it's a good option for your kitchen. Now the kitchen is a very unique area of your home in that most people view this as an area that's going to change if there's a big remodel. And for many homes, it's also a big focal point. So an area where people navigate to once they enter your home, an area where there's gonna to be tons of foot traffic, an area where you might have some stools for people to gather. So it's important that you understand whether or not bamboo floors works for this space, just so you can make the best decision long-term. So in today's video, we're gonna give you our recommendation on bamboo floors in your kitchen. We're also gonna give you the five characteristics that exist in most kitchens and whether or not bamboo floors are a good fit based on those characteristics. So to make it simple, we think that bamboo floors can be a great option for your kitchen. Now your kitchen is a place that's prone to spills. It's also prone to frequent trips, frequent opening of the refrigerator, tons of footsteps, and it's also prone to different temperature changes as well. So in other videos, we've talked about some of the differences between bamboo floors and other wood floors and other hardwood floors. So things like durability, spill resistance, scratch resistance are really things that set bamboo floors apart when you think about other options. Because bamboo is a grass and not a wood, there are tons of differences between it and other types of, of wood floors. So while you may have heard in the past that certain types of wood floors or hardwood floors aren't a good option for your kitchen, we think that bamboo can be a great alternative for those who want that wood look. Now let's get into the five characteristics that make kitchens so much different from other areas in your home and how bamboo floors can give you the look you're going for while also alleviating your concerns. So as we've mentioned in other videos, and I'm sure you know this if you've got kids or you've got pets, that kitchens are prone to spills. And one great thing about bamboo floors is that most often they are coated with an additional coat of aluminum oxide which help it to be a bit more spill resistant than other types of floors, especially other types of wood floors. So the great part about it is if you know that there are going to be spills, spills such as water spills or other types of liquid substances, as long as you clean it up within the first 12 to 18 hours, you're really helping to make sure that there's going to be no discoloration, there's going to be no warping or cracking or denting that comes with liquid sitting on the surface of bamboo floors for long periods of time. The good part about bamboo floors is if you're able to get them cleaned up, in a decent amount of time, you should be all right. The second characteristic and the thing that exists in almost all kitchens is outside of just spills of things coming out of your refrigerator or you just happen to drop something, um, kitchens are just prone to water buildup in general. So you've got your water filters, you've got your sink, you've got your dishwasher, you've got tons of plumbing running through the area. Um, so while you wanna make sure that all that stuff is good to go and you're not seeing huge spills sort of build up on the floors, um, it does allow you, again, because of the additional coating, um, to clean it up fairly quickly, or even if it sits for a few hours, um, you know that it's, it's not going to cause permanent damage so long as it isn't sitting on your floors for 24 hours and up. While most bamboo floors these days come with that additional coat of aluminum oxide, you can also choose during installation to apply an additional sealant that'll help build up pr the protection even more. Now, if you've got a ton of hungry people constantly walking into the kitchen looking for snacks and looking for other things to, to chew on or drink, um, then your kitchen is a heavy foot traffic area. Now, kitchens tend to be a meeting spot in your homes where people gather just to, to hang out, you know, while eating a small snack. As mentioned at the top of the video, some people put bar stools in their kitchen uh, to allow for people to have, you know, breakfast or kind of sit around and, and hang out. The good thing about bamboo floors is that they tend to be much more scratch resistant than other wood floor types. Now, we're not comparing bamboo in this video to things like tile, but for those who are looking for that wood floor look, but want all the benefits of the durability and scratch resistance that come with bamboo floors, you know, that's what really makes this a great option. That's what sets it apart from other options. Bamboo in general tends to be a much harder material, especially when you're talking about strand woven bamboo floors. Um, when compared to other woods. And so we have a ton of information on our site at allthingsfloor.com, which we'll link in the description, about the Jenka scale. And that measures the hardness of different wood types. And strand woven bamboo tends to be at the top of the list in most cases. So one thing to note before we move on is that you really wanna consider 
which bamboo flooring type you're going to move forward with. Now we have a separate video related to the different types of bamboo floors including solid, strand woven, and engineered bamboo. All of these have different pros and cons. Uh, one thing you'll really want to consider though is understanding the type of foot traffic that you're going to see in your kitchen. So if it's a lot of cleats, a lot of sports footwear, tons of heels, um, uh, nails from paws, then you're really want, going to want to consider going with a bamboo flooring type that gives you a few layers of additional space to be able to refinish and sand down. So engineered bamboo floors, while they're much more durable than most wood floors and can be a great option uh, for your kitchen, they don't give you a lot of room for additional refinishing or sanding down. So floors like strand woven or potentially one of the different solid wood flooring types or bamboo types uh, could work great for you. Number four is your kitchen, much like your bathroom and potentially your basement, can see huge fluctuations in temperature. That's because you've got your oven in there, while you've also got your freezer in there, you've also got your refrigerator in there. And while there are these huge fluctuations, you don't expect them to be as big as your bathroom or your, or your basement. And so we want to give you that peace of mind to understand that because most kitchens are a little bit more open than these other spaces, which tend to always have either the door closed or to be pretty much locked in, um, your kitchen allows for some kind of air filtration, you know, some kind of ventilation. Uh, that way you don't see it spiking 20, 30 degrees, you know, while there's cooking happening in the kitchen. So you have to be concerned about that if you've got a really closed in kitchen. Um, that doesn't have a lot of ventilation allowing for some of the hot or really cold air to escape. Bamboo floors, like, like other wood floors, do need some time to acclimate. So we typically suggest that bamboo floors um, have an opportunity to acclimate up to 48 hours in the room where they're going to be installed in. But if your kitchen is seeing huge fluctuations, it's going to be very hard for the bamboo floors uh, to acclimate simply because those changes are going to be happening too frequently. So something to keep in mind, but bamboo floors generally are a great option for your kitchen just because they can deal with a bit of adjustment in temperature, but huge ranges in temperature aren't the best. Finally, in some homes, your kitchens actually happen to be near an entrance, sometimes an entrance to your backyard or to another room like your basement. So you want to be sure you're going with an option in your kitchen that's going to be able to put up with dirty feet, dirty shoes walking in. Um, again, snow or rain or humidity entering in from outside, different temperature changes coming in from outside. And again, because a lot of the benefits that we've already explained, bamboo floors can be a really great option when compared to other wood floors to deal with these types of situations. Either way, we would recommend if you do have an entrance from outside leading into your kitchen, that you simply place a nice rug right in your entrance just so people can take off the debris from their shoes before walking in. That way it doesn't get trapped in any of the cracks. Now before wrapping things up, we do want to give you a few additional benefits that come with bamboo floors when compared to other flooring types. Number one is bamboo floors tend to be much more eco-friendly than other wood floors. It is a renewable resource that tends to be grown much more sustainably than other woods or other trees. Number two, bamboo floors are great for those that don't have a ton of natural light in their kitchens. So they're great for lightening up a space. They're great for making a space feel much more earthy or organic if that's the look and feel that you're going for. Finally, and this is something that is often a big misconception when it comes to bamboo floors, is that bamboo floors actually come in almost any color or shade option that you're looking for. So if there are specific wood floor types where you've got grays or light beige or distressed types of woods, all of that is available with bamboo floors. So you're not having to sacrifice the look and feel you're going for by going with bamboo. With all that being said, we hope that this video has been just as helpful as all of our others in helping you prepare for a big decision on which flooring type to use in your kitchen. If you're looking for more information about bamboo floors and how they fit with other rooms in your home, or just more information about flooring in general, you can visit our site at allthingsfloor.com. See you next time.